So within the past few months, I have broken up with my naked foundation and its rebound is the Lorac Professional Foundation. Uh, one thing I love about this foundation, and this is PR4, that's the shade, is that it is like, um, it's SPF 20, so, I mean, SPF, that's, it's always a good thing to have on your face. Uh, this is like full coverage, it really just depends on how much you apply, like any other foundation. Um, it's not oily. It's fragrance free, oil free, uh, paraben free, so all the good stuff. My next favorite is a recently released blush and it is the MAC Pedro Lorenco. I hope I'm kind of saying that right. Um, okay, first off I'm just going to get this out of the way. The one thing I hate about this is the packaging. I, I don't like packaging that has this weird texture where like I don't even know what the texture is called but like it shows your fingerprints it gets dirty dirt is like attracted to it and so, okay you open it up and this is the coral and it's a matte and a satin shade um I don't know this just this really works for me I'm not really one to want to put really really bright shades on my cheeks I'm for some reason I'm like I'm like self-conscious about that and this is kind of light enough and it just gives it a very nice rose-ish coral tint to the cheek it's on my cheeks now it's very subtle it's not and that's what I kind of like about it I don't really like look at me look at my cheeks and how pink or purple or whatever they are I just really like kind of a subtle sort of a natural hint uh, the only thing is that this is not long lasting so we, I reapplied this before I did the video and it was on for three hours before I just applied it right then and there but um I don't know so, okay see the packaging my fingerprints and it's not it's not attractive at all my next favorite is a lipstick this is the rock goddess this is basically my go-to lipstick lately except I am not wearing it on my lips right now this is uh, eternal or no not eternal enchanted one from the Mac alluring aquatic collection Anyways, onto this one. I love this lipstick. This is a uh, part of their. N this is part of Lorac's new lipstick line, the Alter Ego. It's just a very nice, mute purple, creamy, moisturizing lipstick. The texture does feel a little funny when you first apply it almost feels a little cakey but it's not an uncomfortable cakey I don't even know if that makes sense but my next favorite is you probably kind of just saw it when I was swatching is this ring recording hi she's being mischievous she keeps rubbing against my lights and my my tripod that's not okay that's not okay that's not okay. No. Okay. You want to tell them where the ring is from? Okay. She just wants food. Eselklet eccentricity or EE -E jewelry is what I call it. <laughs> I have been like obsessed with their jewelry. It has like a vintage vibe. They come out with these wonderful collections every so often um it's it's fairly priced it's it's not like overpriced or anything and i'm just in love with it i will put a link below to their website i just i'm in love we have braids buns and twists 
I love this book. The instructions are like two pages. It's well detailed, has pictures, shows the diagram of how to do it step by step. It has basically a description of it, it has a difficulty level, has the ideal hair length. It's recommends extensions if you might need them um it will say like if you need assistance uh it gives you accessories and it gives you like a try this kind of tip to add some pizzazz to it or something and i don't know this book has just heaven sent basically on giving me other ideas uh, kind of an inspiration on to do different kinds of hairstyles and braids and this book is what taught me the braid that I did for the Valentine's Day look that was so long ago but if you follow me on Instagram there's been several photos of that braid it's actually super super easy of course it looks better on the model's hair than it does on mine because mine's a little bit thinner but I love it and it's it's the triple braid so if you've seen photos of like on my Instagram or in my video of that and you want to know how to do it well one you can just comment below saying a tutorial It'll be interesting to do a hair tutorial or you know it's called the triple braid. This product is just not working for me and I'm sorry. I just don't get it. And it is the MAC Ruby Woo Lip stick. I can feel the hate and the judgment right now. I wanted to love this so much guys. I did. I've been looking and searching for a red lipstick that goes right and I'm just starting to think that I am not exactly a red lipstick person. So I'm sure everyone's already seen this before. It's just, okay, yeah. That was like me trying to put it on. It doesn't like glide, slide well. It's just, I don't know. I like the color. It's really not like a super, tr super, it's not really exactly the kind of red I want right now. First, I just thought like it was the matte texture because this lipstick is matte I am more used to the amplified and the really creamy kind of lipsticks um no this 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 lipstick is matte and it was easy to apply it easily glided on there's just I I don't like the texture of this and and I'm sorry and we're just going to continue hating on MAC Red Lipsticks because the next unfavorite, the MAC Lipstick from the Maleficent Collection True Love's Kiss. It wasn't really a texture problem. This was the fact that this lipstick just easily faded for me. It did not stay on to my lips at all. And it's really such a bummer because you know, I, I order the Maleficent stuff from from online and then I had to go to the Mac store when they were released in order to get this lipstick and you know, apparently it just in the end wasn't completely worth it. Go right next to Ruby. Okay, so it's a bit more red than Ruby Woo. I like the color better. I just wish it was long lasting and didn't fade away so easily for me. Okay, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. 
If you have any suggestions, requests, put them below. I will get on it as soon as I can. I am leaving to go to Disneyland. So that means when I get back at Disneyland Hall, which I think seems to be quite popular, so I will try my best to let you guys know what's going on on the Disney side summer at Disneyland. Anyways, I really hope this favorite and unfavorite video was helpful, and I hope you have a magical day. Bye-bye! 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 Squirmy butt.